Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. Very soon, Ndibo, or the Igbo speaking people of Nigeria, that constitutes the bulk of the population in Southeast Nigeria, will have to take a decision on whether they want a normal state or a loose state. This is important because Ndibo is looking for equity and uh, Southeast need additional states to be at par with other states in Nigeria. Now this matter came to the fore recently when Senator Ned Nwoko, who is a, a senator representing Delta State in the National Assembly, expressed that the establishment of a new state in the Southeast will help achieve better representation in the region. He proposed naming the new states and the other states and emphasize the present need for an other state. Now he expressed his views on his verified ex handle where he wrote that the need for the creation of an other state to balance representation in the southeast the creation of a normal state is both urgent and compelling. The proposal addresses the long-standing imbalance in the geopolitical distribution of states in Nigeria. The Southeast Geopolitical Zone currently has five states, unlike East, Con East counterparts, except for the Northwest which has seven states. This disparity results in an imbalance of representation and resources, with the Southeast having only 15 lawmakers compared to the 18 lawmakers of other zones in the Senate. This inequity affects legislative representation and distribution of national, national resources, perpetuating a long-standing injustice. I am presenting a bill for the creation of a Neoma state to correct this historical oversight. A Neoma is composed of nine local government areas, six of which are rich in oil and gas resources. The region also boasts significant human capital, making it a viable and sustainable candidate for statehood. Creating a normal state is not just about increasing the number of states. It is about ensuring fair representation and resource allocation for the Southeast. The call for a normal state has widespread support from various stakeholders. The Anioma Social Cultural Group, Izu Anioma, and the Pan Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Ohanez Ndibo, have both, have, been, have both been vocal in the advocacy for this cause. The political class in Anioma, including the traditional rulers, led by late Asaba of Asaba, Obi Professor Chike Edozian, have also consistently supported the creation of the Anioma State. They have held numerous meetings, including discussions with former President Chief Olusegun Obasanjo to voice their consensus. The creation of Anioma State is a crucial step towards achieving justice and equity for the Southeast. With majority of the stakeholders in agreement, it is time 
to act and bring a normal state into existence, correct the past imbalances, and ensure face fair representation in national affairs. That's Ned Woko's uh, presentation, what he aimed to achieve in pushing for the bill for the creation of a Neoma state. And uh, I want you to take note of Ned Woko's presentation. Ned Woko is a senator representing Delta State. I think that should be Delta South. And uh, he, throughout the whole statement, he tried his statement. He didn't mention South South at all. Because presently, the Anioma state he want to see is creation. The local government, the nine local governments are in Delta State in South South Nigeria. But he was very careful throughout the statement emphasizing Southeast. In other words, if these nine, nine local governments are created as a state, they are to be added as part of the Southeast state. They, they will extricate them from South-South. He didn't specify, but from the tone of the, of, the, of the statement, you can see that he was hammering about injustice done to Southeast, the imbalance in state creation in Southeast. And he sees an Yoma state as filling the gap. And you can't fault him. There is historical, linguistic, cultural, and language relationship between Anioma and the people of Southeast. So there is virtually no difference between this. There is, there is a lot of similarities, a lot of thinking, similar thoughts and everything you can think of. Because when you are talking about homogeneity, in fact, it, it will also add to the fact that you know that Southeast is the Southeast and Southwest are the most homogeneous states or zones in Nigeria. So if you add a Neoma, Southeast will continue in that in that stride of having a homogeneous uh, zone. People that speak similar language almost share the same traditional beliefs. Even in terms of religion, everything appears similar. So what Ned Wogo is presenting is, for me, as far as I can see it, is out. So let nobody kick against him that, ah, is he talking about South, that uh, they, should cover, they should create a state, that they are talking about creation of state in the South is talking about a state in the South South. No. What he's presenting, for what I can see, is that this state, when it is created, will be seen and added as a Southeast state. And it will be as a, a minus for South South. So it will be removed from that. Data. data state will continue to be in the South South, while Anioma will be in the Southeast. Don't forget, this idea of cis geopolitical zone what, what emanated from Dr. Alex Ekweme. In the minority report he wrote to the uh, constitutional conference that was organized by General Sani Abacha. Okay, so it is not a difficult thing to say now Anioma State is part of is part of South South, is part of South East, okay, and that Delta State, where it was carved out from, will still remain in the South South. It's, it's no brainer knowing that that is exactly what he's talking about. So it is a, a nice presentation that he has made. But before he did his own, before he's talking about his presenting this Anioma state, already uh, there is a bill that has passed first reading in the National Assembly. This, this, this one is in the House of Representatives calling for the creation of an uh, additional state in the Southeast Geopolitical Zone. That bill has passed the first reading at the House of Representatives. 
at the state, the bill is calling for the creation of uh, Olu State with Olu as its capital. That one is being sponsored by the member representing Idato North and the Idato South Federal Constituency, Ikenga Ugochinya, and 15 others. And they is currently waiting for second reading. Now, the Olu State, from what Ugochinya represented, and his uh, colleagues, co-sponsors of the bill, uh, will, will, be, will be carved out from Imo, uh, Abia, and Anambra states, okay? Which is his presentation. It's okay, it's okay, it's fine by me too. But I think that Southeast will, will benefit more by enlargement. What I mean by enlargement, by adding, bringing their kids and kin from the Delta into the block. Of course, other people may have different ideas about what it should be. But I think that Southeast should bring their kids and kin from the, across the River Niger to be part of the Southeast. And the, a senator from the area has already made it clear that that is what they want what they want because if you create the southeast states from uh, from Imo, uh, abia and the uh, anambra state you are still having the same landmass but if you add if you add anioma with the nine local governments they have you are increasing the size of the Southeast in terms of geography. And don't forget, like Ned Woko pointed out, this Anoma state is a viable state. Nine local governments, with six of them rich in oil and gas. That would be a, a boost to the economy of the Southeast region. Don't forget, already there is a clamor for regionalism in Nigeria. Southeast would, would benefit a lot by having Anioma being part of it, rich in oil and gas. I know that it's not only Anioma that is rich in oil and gas in Southeast. Abia State is, uh, is an oil producing state. Anambra, uh, Anambra is also an oil producing state now, only that there's a dispute about classifying them as an oil producing state. And already Imo is an oil producing state. Imo and Abia, we all know, are members of uh, Niger Delta Development Commission as oil producing states in the region. Okay? So, and I, I, have, also, I have it in good authority that Enugu State is sitting on top of gas, the whole of Enugu State, including Anambra State. So, the region is, will be awash with natural gas, oil, and what have you. So it's a good thing if Anioma is joined. But that's my position on this, that Ohaneze should, should work with Ned Woko, and then Ugo Chinyere should work with him so that they see how they can work this thing out. But I think that what Southeast need is an addition and not just a mere expansion, okay? Because if you create Olu State from Imo, Anambra, and Abia State, the, the size of Southeast remains the same. But if Southeast is joined by Anioma, the size of Southeast will expand further, okay? And that would be a good thing size is important too would be a good thing for the economic development of the southeast and this anioma they are they're not coming in as a liability in fact they are coming in as as a, as as to add value to the southeast geopolitical zone i think there's a need for haneze and all the stakeholders that uh Ned Moko talked about so that they can sit down and uh, Tell uh, Ugochinyere 
let them work together and see to the fact that it will help South East better to have a normal state than to have uh, a loose state, to be frank. That's the way I look at it. I don't know what you think about it. Uh, you know, nobody has a monopoly of uh, knowledge. Perhaps some, some of you may think that uh, Olu State is more important than trying to add Anioma. But I think adding Anioma will be, will be good for Southeast. It will lead to larger geographic space for the region. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, God will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.